Well, in other news, the Grand Bahama Chamber of Commerce held its November business lunch and meeting today at the Pelican Bay Resort. The guest speaker was Chinese Ambassador Her Excellency Dai Quinley, pointing to additional opportunities for economic growth that would be fostered in the Bahamas, where forge and strengthen relationship with China. Raven Davis has more. As global economies hone in on recovery efforts in the wake of COVID-19, Her Excellency Dai King Lee, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to the Bahamas, says that more can be achieved by simply working together. King Lee making the comments during the Chamber of Commerce monthly luncheon, while underscoring the thriving economic and commercial partnership the Bahamas shares with China. She notes that one target area in promoting growth is more direct free trade between the mentioned nations. The different ideas have been raised, for example, particularly uh, regarding Grand Bahama, like making Freeport a distribution center, you know, uh, a center for warehousing, and even a manufacturing center um, for uh, the Bahamas, uh, covering the entire Caribbean region and even in the southern parts of the United States. And China, as you may know, provide a lot of goods, many um, goods, uh, especially like everyday materials and uh, different light industrial goods for the rest of the world. So if you buy directly from China, you will save a, a lot. Self-sufficiency, also a point of discussion. The ambassador suggesting the Bahamas tap into its productive capacity by becoming more self-sufficient on key fronts like agriculture. So we will be doing a major agricultural technical assistance project um, from our Hunan province, one of our provinces. Um, so we want, um, we want to demonstrate to um, the Bahamian agricultural fa uh, farmers and agro-businesses, agro you know, how to run a viable business uh, by, uh, with the greenhouse um, cultivation of uh, vegetables and fruits. And we are also working with UNDP and FAO on backyard farming initiatives. And as a country that boasts of an abundance of sunshine, she adds that solar development is another avenue to delve into. We are world leading in uh, solar energy technology, like Huawei, uh, a well-known Chinese company uh, based in Nassau. Yeah, they have some business in Nassau. So why not, uh, you know, apply their technologies here in the Bahamas to to have like uh, home uh, and office uh, solutions. So initially you need to make an investment, but that will come back in like a couple of years. For the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Raven Davis.